this is a very healthy dish you guys gonna love it it's tasty it's healthy it's keto uh, and low carb approved I wish you guys can smell this did you ever eat um, dolma Turk says dolma Greek says dolmaki it's a um, stuffed dish you stuff the peppers sometimes tomatoes or zucchinis or you can stuff a cabbage the legend says like 500 years ago one day Sultan gets so tired at the palace to eating the same food over and over again and he makes a contest to say whoever makes the dish pleases me I'll give them bags of bags of gold and then the palace's chef comes up with this amazing dish called dolma. So today I'm going to make dolma. So I took this part of out because I'm going to put this whole cabbage very carefully. And it's going to boil and we're going to take it out leaf by leaf. And I'm going to show the rest of it for you. Now I'm going to ask my husband to make the inside for us with his new knife. I got him for his birthday. It's not, it's not an advertisement. I paid for it. Amazing knife. Okay, Kutijan, are you yeah. going to help us to make dolma? Yeah, I'm excited. This is super delicious. So we are going to cut one onion. Slice up my onion into small dice. Wow, this knife is really fabulous. I'm glad you like your birthday gift. Yeah. Also, a lot of nice gift. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. <laughs> <laughs> small pieces of onions. Our bowl. Doma looks very difficult, but it's actually not that difficult unless you're making the grape leaves, which is I rather my mom make them because they have to be super tiny to like. Oh wow, you did a good doma. For one pound of ground beef, we probably want about two teaspoons of salt, which is about like that. Cumin is to your taste, but you want to have it in there for sure. Not too much. Just a little bit. Couple shakes. There we go. Here's the ground meat. And black pepper, we like it a lot. So probably a teaspoon or so in the end. So originally you make this dish with lamb and regular ground meat mixing together. In Mediterranean, uh, most of the people use lamb, like Greeks, Turks, Italians. They like to cook with lamb, but we don't eat lamb, so we are only gonna use it regular um, ground beef. Ground beef. That, that's why I'm gonna put some oil in it. It's gonna be great. So tomato paste, like a couple tablespoons. Yeah, sure. Okay. I would normally put more than that. But, um, okay, two. It's uh, macros are high on the tomato paste, so we don't use that much. So, I'm gonna uh, um, use olive oil. Normally, we eyeball it, but for people to use, so this is a quarter cup. I'm gonna fill it all the way up. And because we don't use lamb, we need that fat and the dolma we're also going to drizzle on top of it when we're done doing it too now that your ingredients are put some gloves on like you're making meatballs or burgers just you want to squeeze up your meat and don't overwork it so the meat gets tough but mix yes. it thoroughly at the same time yeah we learned that from one american chef i don't know which one we used to watch the food channel all the time he said it once, if you squeeze your ground meat too much, your meatball is going to be, or burger is going to be tough. So always make it loosely, especially we can't put rice in this dish. You don't want it to be like squeeze it so it's, it's not that pleasant. So 
this inside you can stuff with peppers too or tomatoes yes. or zucchinis we can make that too one day it's so much easier but the, our favorite is the um, cabbage leaves cabbage leaves actually grape leaves but <laughs> yeah, yes <laughs> you have to wait for my mom to come and cook that for us yeah, yeah. all right so there it is. inside is ready it's easy it's not that hard filling this is how we're peeling it because I dig the middle of it, I took the core as much as I can. So it's, that's why it's easier to take the leaves out. Take them like that. Nice Bigger the better. It's easier to... Roll it. Yeah. So sometimes you can flip it upside down so the top can cook or the bottom can cook. Yes. Just gently tug at them. You'll, when they're soft enough, enough to fold, then they'll be coming, coming loose. You don't want to cook them too much because they will cook with the meat too. So the more they cook, like halfway. They need to cook halfway. So I wanna show you guys this. When you boil in the cabbage, the, the more you go down, this area is tough. What you do is you take it out like this. But don't throw these. You're gonna lay bottom of your pan with these pieces. So. At the end, you eat them. They're very delicious and very good for us. Took out the leaves. The more we took out the leaves, we came like our cabbage gets smaller. But the area I cut it to get the leaves out easily, it's gone. So now what we do? Hold your cabbage out of your body and hand. Not this way, right? This way, outwards. Take this out the core. Take as much as you can. It's getting hot, be careful. But you see, the more you take out the core, the more your leaves come apart. And put it back. I'll, okay, I was gonna ask my husband to do it. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, good yeah. First, we're gonna oil the bottom to, to, to the cover. Make sure you cover all the bottom. And then remember you guys, I was talking about these areas, tough areas. So you can cut them or you can pull them with your hand. We are gonna lay them at the bottom of the pan. They're gonna be delicious with the meat juice and tomato juice and everything. Here we go. Let's start to make some dolma. Stuffed. Cabbage. Stuffed cabbage. First you go like this and then you tuck the sides and you roll it. When you're making cabbage it's easy because, because cabbage holds itself. You can squeeze it a little bit to keep the shape. This side you see it's supposed to come to the bottom. Always. Oil. And this one again, this tough part, you do not want it. You put that here, you come here. You probably can even make like two with one leaf. But, um, you know, moms and grandmas will be happy you make it properly. But if you're working mom, if you don't worry about your mom and your grandmother watching it, you just do it your way. Big is fine. With this one. But with the grape leaves, do it properly. I'm gonna make this one, just one big piece. And I'm gonna tuck the, this time, the tough part side, I'm gonna do it. Because, you know, you see I have an opening, I'm tucking like this. Up the sides and roll it. You probably can find this dolma most of the. Oh, this, this looks better. Most of the medita. Oh, looks perfect. Ta da! My perfect one. So tuck the rough part inside. <laughs> you can probably find this in most of the Mediterranean restaurants. 
right? Greek restaurants, Italian restaurants. Again, you can cut in a half, make smaller, you can leave it big, make a big one. I kind of like big ones better because they're easier. Cut the top part and sides and go row. Very gentle squeeze. Give it a little gentle squeeze. Find a nice cute spot. It has to be a cute spot. Otherwise, your doma is not gonna work, ladies. Find a cute spot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, if you have teenagers around, call them to help you. This is fun. Tell them stories. But that's what my grandmother used to do. Whenever she cook, she used to tell me stories about, I don't know, some family members, about the food. Do you see this area? If you wrap this, your meat's gonna come out of there, like other one happened. You can patch it like this. You have to be gentle. Don't put too much meat in it. So, gently wrap this one. You know, stuff, pepper and leaf. It's like being tailored. <laughs> See? Next one, it will be such an amazing recipe. Cabbage lasagna. Oh boy, it's like mm. amazing. Our kid doesn't do keto, but he's one of our favorites, this keto uh, lasagna. <laughs> Can I get more leaves, please? Yes. tiny ones are so cute yeah. so these are like easy <laughs> if you have a hard time just stuff them in like this and close it and put it back no I will do it properly you know I see a lot of people like stuffed leaves so I'm happy to share my grandmother's recipe with them she would be proud kinda <laughs> she will expect me to do better looking ones a little smaller maybe but yes she would proud of me she will be proud of me following her recipe you know i see some people they leave them open i can't do that when my mom watches the video she'll be <laughs> get upset to me uh, did i teach you like that these are like this wrapping is done but of course we are not done do you use tomato paste I use a lot of tomato paste. I love tomato paste. When the tomato paste get very less inside, you know, they stay a little bit here, a little bit there. I don't throw them. I keep them in the refrigerator. And when I'm gonna make a dish like this, for example, I put a little bit water in them and I go shake it and then I drizzle on my food. No wasting, grow up with grandma. You know, old times, people, they didn't waste anything. They weren't wasteful as we are. So, you see? And then we are going to put some warm, clean water and let's drizzle with olive oil first. It's important to make your dolmas with real olive oil. Use real olive oil. Because it's a Mediterranean dish, remember? Good, nice drinking water. How do we know how much water we put? Okay, tell us. Just to the top, right? Yes, Ken, you know that. Just, just a little bit. So, a big tip is coming. What do we do to stop our dolmas floating around? You need a good, heavy plate. And it's just the size of your pan. Yeah. Inside of the pan. Push it down. 
down, 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 down. So old times in Mediterranean, when the people, Turkey, Greek, Greece, and places like that, people dedicated stones, they have it. They will put the plate and they will put a heavy stone on top of it because you don't want your dolmas to open up, right? Yep, this holds them squeezed and tight while they yes. cook. Yes, and we put the lid on, we're gonna okay, cook now, and we're gonna eat it. Okay. Here we go, it's cooking. Oh, it smells so good. All right, now we're going to take the uh, plate off. It's been cooking for 20 minutes. You boil it and then you turn it down to a medium low. So it cooks on a medium low. Now, carefully, we take the plate out. Mm. I wish you guys can smell this. Okay, the question, how do we know when it's cooked? We have a cook and see, it doesn't go in. That means it's not cooked yet. Your fork has to go in it like butter. Um, let's close the lid back again. And smear it on very low. Also, make sure to check the water inside the dish. So I still have some water, but I need more. Remember the water we boiled for the cabbage? It's still nice and hot, so we can put it right on. You don't yes. want to put cold water on No, nice definitely. Food. <gasps> that would be horrible. <laughs> No, we don't do that. We taste one. It's so amazing. It's just really, really great. So it's cooked. Put a little bit from the juice. Mm, it's beautiful. It smells even better. Mm, it smells really great. Mm, it cooked beautifully. Do you want to talk about the yogurt also? This so is. this is, has to be another video, but this is our homemade yogurt that we do a special way that comes out very low carb. So we'll share that in another video. But we recommend yes. to eat with some nice yogurt. Definitely. And give it a try. Mm. Don't forget to subscribe. Mm. More goodies coming. It smells so good. It's delicious. Bon appetit. Please subscribe.